and your brother called the mother. Dear Annie, when my mother was in a coma, dying, my brother closed her safety deposit box. He was a co-executor, executor of the estate, life insurance policies, jewelry, and all her personal and important belongings were gone. I was to start listing, cleaning, and selling our home. There are a total of four children, and I had to drive nearly two hours to complete the task while everyone else was within a few miles of home. They enjoyed their trips while I worked my bum off. However, I tried to look at the positive side, for instance, I got to spend some alone time in the house I grew up in. I was able to add new memories and closures. The attorney I hired said, if a decision over somebody in the family will not be speaking, how true. My brother left a small life insurance policy to bury mom and we had to fight to get the will. Unfortunately, he submitted one where he got $5,000 more than anyone else in the family for his apprenticeship. To add insult to injury, the money was distributed to the people we realized the will was never filed with the state. He lives very well in his home in Florida, but of course, he's a great scammer. He scammed his employer, stating that he was unable to work, and his lawyer fought and won early retirement for him. People like this exist right under our own noses. The saddest part is the fact that the night before mom had a stroke, he told her he would no longer help her. My mom called me in tears. I told her she could move out of state with me and we'll figure it out. She died knowing who truly loved her and while dying in a hospital, she realized that her son was stealing from her, a con artist for a brother. The con artist for a brother. No amount of money in the world will buy peace of mind and a good night to sleep. It sounds like your brother is a crook and you know it. Your mother know, knew it and he knows, knows it. That is really sad, but it is the way he had chosen to live his life.